Abbeville, the city honored a hometown award-winning gospel artist. Last week, Corinne Hawthorne won the Billboard Music Award for Best Gospel Song for her song called Won't He Do It. She was nominated for two other Billboard Awards, and earlier this year, Corinne and her song were nominated for a Grammy Award as well. And today, some of her biggest fans got a chance to meet her, and that's where our Katie Easter picks up the story new tonight at 10. Um, she looks up to Corinne. Um, I talk to Tori all the time, and she, she wants to be a singer now. Five-year-old Tori Thompson and her mom, Ashlyn, have been following Corinne Hawthorne since she was a contestant on The Voice in 2015. She, she really, she's really so pretty because I like how she sings, and she sings loud and clear because she's a beautiful girl, and she, she like, she's so amazing. We listen to her every morning on our way on her way to school and my way to work. That's our theme. We listen to Unstoppable. Um, it's very inspiring and to, to know that um, to keep God first and you can follow your dreams. They say Hawthorne inspires them. She never forgot about where she came from, coming back and giving back to the community. So that's very um, encouraging and know that she she's part of us. We're we're all family. Hawthorne says it's fans like them who inspire her. They are probably like my biggest supporters and I'm always getting messages on Facebook and social media and seeing a lot of videos of just little girls loving the songs and I'm just happy that I can be a positive role model to them because I feel like in this age that's very important and we need more positive women so I love it. The gospel star says she's using her platform for more than just fame and glory. It's not just about me um, that other people are involved too so it just gives me courage to keep on going and remember that I'm fighting for something bigger than just myself. In Abbeville, Katie Easter, KGC TV3.